My name is Leo Shklovsky. I'm one of the co-founders of EvilWorks.com, a web startup focused on making energy efficiency easy for homeowners. I'm here today with Scott, a homeowner in Seattle. We did a major remodel a few years ago, but we're, our utility bills are still really high, so we wanted to find out how efficient our home really is. I found we Evil Works on the web, and we contacted them. And we put Scott in touch with Vesta Home Performance, one of the many local contractors in our network. It depends on the home, but an average Seattle household spends about $1,250 on energy over a year, and an efficient home spends about $750. So that's $500 a year that we're talking. A lot of people don't know that this exists. Um, a lot of people think that energy efficiency involves very big, sophisticated things. They don't know it's simple. Um, they also don't have an easy way to find out this information and be connected to the people that can help them. This instrument is called a blower door. We use it to figure out how many square inches of leakage there are allowing air into this house. This instrument is a computerized pressure gauge. It controls the blower door and it'll calculate for us how much total leakage there is in this house. We have tubes that are running into the attic and into the basement in different parts of the house. By taking data in different parts of the house, we can determine how that total leakage is distributed throughout the house how much leakage is coming through the attic, how much leakage is coming through the basement, through the walls, or through various other parts of the house. So it looks like in this house, most of the air leakage is actually coming from the floor between the basement and the space that we're in now. So pocket doors are often a source of leakage, Scott. And can you see that there? Yeah, that's really coming out there. Yeah. This so another good. common trouble spot is the HVAC ducts. The ducts should be at zero pressure with respect to the rest of the house. Put this instrument over the duct, there's a big leak. So the other thing we want to look at is we want to look at your electrical use. And so that's going to be your lighting, you can look up in your appliances, your AV equipment, your computer equipment. Okay, so now we're going to look at some of the other usual suspects, uh, cordless phones, clock radios, another type of a vampire load. You'll see these kinds of LED readouts. That's probably, again, drawing between two and five watts at all times. So we have three devices here telling the time within uh, same time. That's two feet away. <laughs> so the AC adapter for your laptop is drawing one watt, not very much, but as you can see, that's basically what it's powering. <laughs> That's just when it's just sitting there, it's not plugged into there. anything. Yep. It's just powering that little dumb light. <laughs> yep. And the next step for us is we go back to the office and we put it all into an energy modeling software, okay. which allows us to simulate the house as it is today, which confirms some of the data we collected. And then we also get to simulate if, if, if we did specific improvements where we could get the house to okay. in terms of efficiency. Uh, in your house as it exists today, there's about 230 square inches of equivalent leakage. That's like having one window without any glass in it? Open at all times. Okay. 